Here's a video someone requested. They had a cabinet over their refrigerator and they wanted to know if they could make it a little longer, kind of like there's not a lot of use for it there being so short. Now, the first thing I want to point out is that you will have some of them that will attach to the ceiling. These are going to be a little stronger. The ones that don't attach to the ceiling and they come out a little too far. Um, it's kind of like a cantilever. You, you could actually have them sag over a period of time. This right here just will not be supported enough. So with the ones that uh, mount to the ceiling are usually screwed or nailed to the ceiling or the ceiling joist, I should say. Here's the ceiling joist. Hope that makes sense. And the ones that are a little lower, you can see here, they're not going to be supported by it. Now, I just kind of want to give you an idea here there is one method that you can use and that would be to remove the face frame with the door so this is the face frame here if you can remove the face frame then you can actually use the old cabinet and uh, maybe knock this board off here if you can if not you can always add to the side you can see here where we added to the side um, i'd rather see this right here um, and uh, you might even think about replacing the top piece and having this one solid also. If not, it wouldn't be a bad idea to put a board across the top of it somehow or uh, underneath it. Something that could be used to attach the two pieces together. Hope that makes sense. But again, kind of what I'm shooting for here would be the next option which would be to build a new cabinet. Use the existing face frame and the doors. Remove the old cabinet. Now, it wouldn't be a bad idea to make it a little bigger also, because once you remove the cabinet, you're going to have a line here. Now, this, you're not going to have a line over here because you're going to be extending it past here. But if you made this about an inch larger, then um, it would cover the line from the old cabinet. And I hope that makes sense also. Another thing you can do when you go to install your new cabinet, since you have the refrigerator underneath it, would be to use some blocks. You know, um, you could always use some books, anything that uh, can, you can use to support the cabinet and get it in the position you want. You don't want to have to be holding it up there and uh, trying to attach it to the wall framing studs um, also. So once you have this cabinet installed like this, you will simply drive some screws in. Um, I would say if you could uh, drive, use at least three screws, um, equally space them, and then drive them into the wall studs. Now, be aware that uh, you could actually, um, you know, I'm, I'm not, you know, the way most homes are built, you're not going to have any electrical wires up here or plumbing, but you could. And if you do drive a screw into this, you could actually hit an electrical wire or some plumbing. How do I know? Because I've done it before. So here's a cabinet here, just kind of giving you an idea of how you can build it. This is one way you can build it here. See the pieces. I can't really provide you with the measurements for these pieces either, um, depending, it would all depend upon how big of a cabinet you'd like to build. Now I would like to point out something here. You can have the back piece um, end at the bottom um, or you can have it come down a little bit if you need some additional support. So you can see here where it's uh, down a little bit and you can drive some more screws into the wall framing studs as necessary. Now, here's something I, I, I'd like to see the cabinet built this way. Have the top piece go over the back piece and then, of course, nail down. And what this is going to do is um, give you some additional support to prevent this thing from sagging. If the piece went up, let's go back to it. Uh, back one more. Something like this. This is the front. Um, if there was enough pressure placed on this, if we could force this down, you could see where the nails could actually pull apart from this um, gap right here or from this seam. It could actually, you could just pull this down. This piece might stay in the same spot, but this one here would separate right here. Hope that makes sense. One more. Another thing I would like to point out would be to have this piece solid because it will be visible from the kitchen. You'll want to paint it 
and uh, you're not going to want to have any gaps. You're not going to want to see something like this on this side. You know, it's going to be better to have one solid piece across here. So, and this is just kind of a close-up of the nails or the screws attaching to this. And that is the end of the video. I hope it helps. Like I said, I can't provide any measurements. And uh, the larger cabinets, like I said, can actually sag over time. So that's actually one of the reasons why they make them a little smaller also.